Hello, my name is David Francois with Maple Systems. In this video, we will cover reading and writing to bits and registers in the HMC and PLC memory using the read and write objects found under the Show Data and Edit Data tabs in the toolbar. There are several objects that can be used to display the state of a bit or the value in a register. These objects are read only and are used to provide status information on the HMC screen. The bit display indicates the current state of a bit using text such as on and off. Select the bit display in the show data menu in the toolbar and place it on the screen. The properties for the bit display include font size, text color, off text, on text and the tag address. The numeric display shows the current value in a register. Select the numeric display in the show data menu and place it on the screen. You can choose to put a border around the display, adjust the font size, the number of digits and the number of digits after decimal point. You can select the data type and the tag address. You can also scale the values by performing one or two mathematical operations on the value in the register and displaying the result in the numeric display. The message display is used to show predefined messages based on the value in a register. Select the message display in the Show Data menu and place it on the screen. Like the numeric display, you can put a border around the display, adjust the font size, and select the tag address. Click in the Ranges field and click the directory button to open the register text range pop-up window. A range of values can be assigned to each message so that the message changes as the value in the register transitions from one range of values to another. Enter the low limit and high limit values in the table and also enter the text that you want to appear in the message display or the messages can be configured so that each message corresponds to a discrete register value by assigning the same value to the low limit and high limit. Now let's run the project in simulation mode to see how it would look on the screen. Here we have the bit display indicating that B0 is currently off. We can use the toggle button to change the state of the bit and see that the bit display changes to on. We toggle it again and the bit display shows off. The numeric display is currently showing a value of 15 in D1 and the message display is showing nominal. We can use the increment button to increment the value in D1 and as we cross the upper threshold the message display changes to hot. As we decrement the value in the register we cross back into the nominal area and when we cross through the lower threshold the message display changes to cool. There are two objects that are used to change either the state of a bit or the value in a register. These are read and write objects that not only display the current state of a bit or value in a register, but allow you to change the bit or register as well. The bit entry indicates the state of a bit using text, just like the bit display, but it also allows the operator to toggle the bit using a pop-up keypad. Select the bit entry in the Edit Data menu and place it on the screen. 
You can select the font size and text color, the off text, the on text, and the tag address. The bit keypad is selected by default to set the bit on or off. The numeric entry shows the current value in a register just like the numeric display, but it also allows the operator to enter a new value in the register with a pop-up keypad. Select the numeric entry in the Edit Data menu and place it on the screen. It has all the same properties as the numeric display. With the addition of the data entry properties, here you can select the data type, the minimum value and maximum values, and the keypad to use. The numeric keypad is selected by default. Once again, let's run the project in simulation mode to see how these objects work. We'll change to screen 2. And here we have the bit entry that currently shows off. If we click on it, the bit keypad pops up. We can change the bit to on and click enter. And you'll see the bit entry changes to on and the bit lamp lights up. And we can change the bit back off and it changes to off and the bit lamp turns off. The numeric entry currently shows a value of 15. We can click on it, change the value in the register with the numeric keypad, click enter, and the value changes. For more information, click Help in the top menu bar in Mapware 7000 and select Contents, or visit our website at maplesystems.com.